sentenced to a term in the custody of the Division of Corrections of 30 years. Both families were filled with nothing but emotion as well as disappointment after the judge gave 22 year old Camille Brown 30 years in prison with the eligibility of parole in 10. If she can be a good girl for 10 years, she's going to get out. Does that mean my brother's going to be back in 10 years? No. The judicial system really sucks. Brown pleaded guilty to second degree murder after she allegedly entered the home of 68 year old Ronald Browning, a pastor she did not know, beating him to death in February of 2015. They were back guilty. Brown, who has no criminal history, admitted to police that she took marijuana before the murder. At the end of the day, you don't know what you're getting when you go out on the streets and buy marijuana. It is not regulated, it is not legal in West Virginia, and you could have anything in there. And here we have someone who uh, had a, a severe reaction to a substance and did something that was absolutely atrocious and god-awful. Marijuana had nothing to do with it, and we did hire a psychopharmacologist in anticipation of trial who had the same opinion. And in fact, we have the girl that she smoked the marijuana with, as, and, and she said that Camille Brown only took two puffs, the girl smoked the rest of it, and that it was just plain marijuana, that Camille Brown was fine, she was fine. Camille Brown went home that night and was with her mother all night and the next morning and was fine. So the murder would have been at least 12 hours after the supposed marijuana smoking. The judge also pointed out in court that because Brown was so aggressive with the doctors after she was arrested, they were not able to draw her blood, which could have possibly given more information to determine why she committed this heinous crime. In Beckley, I'm Ashley Kafaro reporting for Newswatch.